I'll tell you the tale of the yellow bean of the old world. In the past, where living things are such no things, a bean was woken. More probably, he was woken by an omnipotent entity. He rising up and took his time to be aware on what's going on. While the yellow fellow was looking on his surroundings, a large gorilla came for the destruction of the other entities, surging with great power. But to his surprise, the noble kangaroo ambushed him and kicked him in his face, being able to knock down the mighty gorilla. But it was not that easy to knock out. He was able to stand and fight back against his flexible foe. He tried to punch the noble warrior but it was blocked. Yet, the punch was merely a trick and the big beast was able to right hook the brown champion with his brute force. There, the noble beast was fainting by the punch that the gorilla threw. Unexpectedly, an automaton threw itself to the gorilla and was pinned down by the seemingly heavy machine. This machine seems cruel and shows no emotion. He picked up the man beast and threw him over to the noble kangaroo with such strength that made them fall over to the deep chasm where no other being was able to come back alive. As the robot readies himself to depart back to his database, he was shut down by another machine-like entity. It was Optimus. He was set down with the same goals of others on killing them strong entities as he shoot down the red machine to the same unknown chasm a yellow being with high velocity chopped the robot down as he went for his head the huge machine was unable to fight and left with his paralyzed body with his red head receiving huge damage and gun sliced over from his hands. The yellow being was ready to set off to another adventure, but as he went and walked away, the robot seems to activate a self-destruct program, making his whole body fired up into full speed to the mysterious person. He was hit and was thrown off to where he was standing and can be seen lying in his own puddle of blood in a nearby mountain for which he was lucky. He tried to lay back on a more comforting position. He lied down to his back, few bones broken, near to his wrecked sword, his blood gushing out from his destroyed body, and that sad man rests knowing that his life is close to the end. He thinks and thought to himself, why? Why does he leave? Why he needs to watch and kill those other entities? Die. What is his purpose? But as he stares to the sky, he noticed a black rectangular ship with a lens that seems watching him. Them, the dead beasts, the battle that occurred before him. He has a lot of questions in mind. But those questions will never be answered as his vision grew dark.